Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we're going to show you how to connect your Amazfit GTS 3 with Zep app iOS iPhone. Also in the next video we will show how to connect with Android phone. Before we start don't forget to subscribe channel, like video and share with your guys. So, let's begin here immediately, we have here the Amazfit GTS 3, and let us see how to connect it. To download Zep app you can find on Play Store by name, or you can find by QR code it will show when you power on for the first time your watch, also you can scan QR code by manual and download app. We will scan QR code and will go directly in App Store to install app, it will take few moments for install. As you can see, we have already installed it. We will open app we should allow access to Bluetooth and login by our user. You can create new account, or you can use your Google, Facebook, or any third-party account. We will use our Google account. We will allow access Zep app to notification, fitness activity, health. We will go to Profile, to connect new watch go to, Add Device, and choose which device you want to connect, we will go to Watch. Don't forget to turn on Bluetooth and GSP on your smartphone also you should to allow app to use your camera. Now we will scan QR code, and we'll wait to connect, we will accept in or watch and this is pairing successful, now we can see some user guide, and we'll wait until watch will sync with app account data. In the top up app, we will see watch name and battery percent whereas below, here we also have many tools and settings which we will see together. In watch face store here, we can download and change the watch face, as you can see, we have plenty of them. Let's choose this one and press sync, we will wait to download it, and immediately, it will synchronize with the watch, and we will have a brand new face in your watch. Amazfit have more than 100 watch face with matching always on display. 15 animated watch faces, 12 editable watch face. Next we have app store here we can install some other app we will try to install some app. Next option we have notification and reminders here we can activate notification for incoming calls. App alerts first we should allow Zep app to get notification, here we can choose from which apps we will get notification in our watch. Next we have an standing remainder, incoming SMS, and goal notification here we can enable or disable notification form that. On the health monitoring we can enable or disable in costume heart rate monitoring, sleep monitoring, stress monitoring and blood oxygen monitoring. On the watch setting we can costume some setting parameters like display and brightness, vibrating, workout, we can select the workout type to detect and GPS mode, DND setting, off, wrist lock and password if you want to put password to unlock your watch. Long press side button, you can choose which app you want to activate when you press and hold side button. Next we have edit quick access app we can add, remove or rearrange items. Also, on the edit control center we can rearrange items. Next we have wearing direction, we can choose left or right button. Next we have office voice control and system language where you can choose language. On the app list management, we can add, remove or rearrange app on the main menu. On the shortcut cards we can add, remove or rearrange shortcuts. On the app settings we can install more apps or customize some app parameters like weather settings, world clock, set alarm, calendar etc. Next we have fine watch. Discoverable. Activity heart tear sharing. Real-time data. Binding limits. 
which we can enable. And below we have system updates and we have last system update. Let's see what we have on homepage. Here we have data for all category like as sleep, heart rate, stress, blood oxygen, workout history, steps, calories, exercise status, etc. All those data you can see in daily, week, month, or your period. So, guys this was all for today's video. In the next video you will see how to connect with iOS. I hope you find in this video some interesting and helpful things, if so, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and we will see in the next video with another smart device.